I'm Bianca and it's Ipsy time. So, I feel like I didn't get my bag too late this month, which I'm really excited about. Mini little update, I am going to be unbagging my October Ipsy and Mama Bear's and she still has not received her September bag. Last month, I did not unbag her bag because she hadn't received it yet. We emailed them and they said, you know, so sorry that they will ship out a new bag. And it had been like two weeks since she still hadn't received it. So we emailed them again and they said, oh my goodness, so sorry. So they said they were going to ship out another bag and add a bonus product to it. And fingers crossed that she still does get that bag. But let's go ahead and get into this month's bag. Okay, so I have my bag slash box. Mine didn't come in a bag this month. And Mama Bear's bag. So like always, we'll unbox mine first. I opened up the box because I had no idea that it was that this was an Etsy box. Like I literally got this in the mail and thought it was something else that I had purchased from Wet n Wild. Like I would have never guessed that my Ipsy bag would have came in a box. So like I just didn't even look at it. I just saw my name, I cut open the box, and then I saw this and I was like, oh my goodness, it's my Ipsy bag. So the Ipsy bag this month is so cute. It is so cute. Like, look at this little bag on the zipper. It's a little ghost with hard eyes. Oh, this is just so perfect for Halloween in October. I absolutely love it. It has candy corns on it, lipsticks, witch's hat, a spell book. Literally, this has been the cutest bag. I love this. Okay, so why did I get a box this month? I believe it's because I cashed in some of my points and maybe maybe they didn't want to send me a ginormous bag so they put it in a box. So I'll show you this last and we'll see what's in the bag first. In the cutest bag ever. First things first, I got a brush and this is by the brand Me Me Me. Never heard of that. It looks like a blush brush. But let's see. Okay, yeah, I could see this as a blush brush. It's honestly just as small and feels like the Selena Mac brush. So we'll see. Okay, next up, what is this? Pure Dirty Girl Detoxifying Mud Mask with Pascalite Clay. Okay, I'm all about a mud mask. I absolutely love mud and clay masks for detoxifying, pulling out all the impurities. So We'll be putting this to use. Next up, good old Trust Fund Beauty. I love Trust Fund Beauty, but what is it? Give me good face. Face primer, oh my goodness. I love face primer. So it just says that it's a face primer and it's going to leave you looking flawless, but I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Like it doesn't say if it's mattifying or moisturizing. Okay, it's silicone. You can definitely see it right off the get-go. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I love silicone-based primers like the Baby Skin. They are amazing because they do what they are intended to do and they fill in pores. They do create a smooth base to work with. And the best way to apply a silicone primer, if you got this in your bag, is when you get it, to press it into your pores. Don't rub it, because you're just moving it. Press it in, pack it into those large pores, and you will love it. So I'm really excited to try this out. Okay, two more items, and oh my goodness. The Balm Cabana Boy Shadow Slash Blush. Yes, please. I love all oh, the out. Okay, no worries. I will have to hot glue it back in. It did fall out. It looks like a beautiful dusty rose color. Definitely a pretty, pretty blush. Let me swatch it. Oh yes, this is gorgeous. It does have a bit of a sheen to it. Okay, my last product is what? So this is by the brand Tease Cosmetics. I have not heard about them. And it says Eve's ready to wear lipstick and it's in the shade Romantic Red. Well, let's see, because I always love a good lippy. Okay, I love this packaging. It's like acrylic, rose gold, some cute little graphics on it. Oh, yes. Oh my 
goodness, it looks so beautiful. Like, I don't even want to swatch it, but I will, but I will. So, so gorgeous, so pigmented. It definitely is very creamy and has like a very beautiful, like, sheeny gloss to it. So it's not matte. So pretty. I'm excited about that. Okay, so that was everything that was in my bag. Let's go ahead and check out Mama Bear's bag. Same little cute bag. It's just so cute. And okay, we did get some similar items. She also got the Cabana Boy blush. Hers did not pop out yet. This is, this is a winner. We also got the same blush brush. And then we got three products that were different. She got a Ciate London eyeliner. I think this is amazing. Look, this is definitely a full size product and it is a black belt tip liner. Yes, please. Okay, two more products. I think this one is so cute. This is a little lippy and it's by the brand Cosmaholic and it's a teeny tiny travel size lippy. It has a mirror on the back side. So cute and perfect for your purse. Smells amazing. Oh my God goodness it is beautiful I believe I have a trust fund beauty one that looks very similar to this like literally the most perfect nude gloss ever I kind of want to trade something for this because it's so cute and little and like such a pretty gloss okay her last product I kind of want to this is an aqua moist gel cream by the brand Sally's box and it is a gel cream it's a gel moisturizer it smells amazing. It feels exactly like the Neutrogena Hydro Boost that I absolutely love. Okay, well that's everything that was in my bag and Mama Bear's bag this month. I definitely loved this month's bag so much. Who got the better bag? Who has the better items? You let me know in the comments down below. I think it's almost even this time. Oh, I don't know. Like, I absolutely love every single one of my items. I, I truly do. So, like, the face primer, the lip, like, I love them all, but I love Mama Bear's bag, too. So, you let me know in the comments down below. And if you are interested in seeing what I cast my points in for, then just keep watching. So, one of the first items that I picked up are a set of lashes. These are by the brand Socialize. It says, let your eyes do the talking, and these are in the style Vixen. They look very wispy, and I'm excited to try them out. Okay, I also cashed in my points for a full-size Benefit Their Real Mascara. I've never bought a full-size. I always use like my Sephora points to get the little travel size one, and it is a really great mascara. I probably won't keep it for myself because as I have mentioned, I am collecting a lot of stuff for a huge giveaway. Stay tuned for that. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss out on that giveaway. But I picked one of these up. Okay, I also picked up some lippies, and I picked up four of them. I'm probably going to keep two for myself and put two in a future giveaway. And these are the Bare Minerals Gin Nude Matte Liquid Lipsticks. Like, matte liquid lipsticks. Yes, please. And I picked up four of them. Let's see what shades I picked up. Does it say where... They come in 20 shades. They are supposedly full coverage, long wearing formula, moisturizing, and a cream to matte finish. Lightweight and no tacky feelings. They are $18. These are full size, so I'm excited about that. <gasps> My gorgeousness. Okay, this one is in the shade Smooch. Yes, please. Okay, I'm not going to be swatching them because I don't know what shades I'm going to keep for myself or which ones I'm going to put in the giveaway, but I will let you know which shades I did pick up. And the next one is Kissy Face. Kissy Face. That's super cute. Love these names. Smooch and Kissy Face. Next, next is Om. O-M. I don't know. This one looks more like a brownie nude. The other ones looked a little more mauve. And it's a little hard to tell because the packaging is like frosted. And this one looks kind of mauve nude. And this one's in the shade Hemp. So I'm really excited about these. I've heard amazing things about them. Cannot wait to try them. 
Okay, I did pick up two brushes. This one is a crown brush. And does it say the number? It is the Taper Duo Fiber Brush. I just, I love little tapered brushes like this to set my under eye area or to use for highlights. And I also picked up the Luxie Tapered Highlighter, the 522. I absolutely love this brush. I did receive one in my Ipsy bag. It is the one with the blue handle. I think I have it here. Do I? No. It had the blue handle and the crazy thing is like the little ferrule like came off when I washed it. So I did have to super glue it back on, but it is literally like the best brush to set the under eye and to highlight that absolutely love them. So I picked up these two and the last items that I picked up were two of the Gimme Brows, the Volumizing Fiber Gel. And I picked it up in the shade one and three. But what shade does that mean? I'm guessing three would be the darker shade. Okay, I'm not gonna open them up until I can research and see what shade is closer to my brow color. That'll be the one that I keep, and the one that isn't will be a one for a future giveaway. Alrighty, well that is a wrap for this month's Ipsy bag. Thank you so much for watching, and like always, let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe if you are not already subscribed. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!